it is March 6th today. It is day 29, but I'm going to do a recap of what's been going on starting March 1st. Hey guys, today is day 24 and uh, we're working on some more evacuation drills and we get to jump out of the evacuation slide. So I'm super excited, but it is um, 8.30. I'm going to head down and get breakfast. So let me bring y'all along. <laughs> It is still day 24, um, but today was just a four hour shift. We did some drills and then a quick uh, workshop where they like run through, that way we're able to see um, the process. But um, the slide went great. I ended up going first because I had to go to the bathroom so bad. Um, and once you're done with the slide, you're able to go back up to the classroom. So I was like, let me go please, because I have to pee so bad. Um, so I am back in the room, a quick, took a quick 10 minutes to change a group of us. Um, one of the gals here has a car and, um, we're going to get some food at in and out really fast. So, um, I just wanted to give that quick update before I head out. And then this is my look guys. Like literally we don't have a lot of times where we're in our own clothes. So that's why I'm sharing this. Um, my quick look, I'm thinking of going to the gym when I get back and then I'm just going to study the rest of the night. Tomorrow is a, another drill and then Sunday we have a test. So I will keep bringing you guys along for the rest of this week since we are kind of like wrapping up on everything. It's still a lot of information, but I do feel like I have a little bit more downtime to be able to get better footage and really um, be able to go over what it is that we are doing every day. So um, I'm going to try to get more for you guys as my days, you know, keep proceeding. But I'm going to head out and go get some food. Got back from in and out and decided to go to the gym for a little while. Okay, so I'm done at the gym. I just showered and I'm gonna do my laundry now. So my gym clothes, I wash them after every wearing. And so I'm gonna start pants. I just start with soaking it. And then I just use this bar and I start soaping it up and I let it soak a little bit and I rinse. Okay, so I soaped it up. And now I'm just kind of, if you think of like how the machine washes it, I just start like um, really rubbing the material together and soaping it really well. Um, I know this seems like a pain, but I have been really grateful that I'm doing it this way. Um, other people here at the hotel have had issues with their laundry machines. Um, one person shrunk some of their clothes. Um, one load costs $6, so I'm also saving money. Um, the dryer doesn't dry fully. There's just a lot of things that I'm not having to stress about. Again, missing clothes, um, forgetting it, you know. Um, this has just been a really easy, secure way for me to make sure that my clothes are rotated and clean and I don't have to worry about the amount of money it cost, the time it's taking in the machines, shrinking the clothes, you know. Um, so yes, it seems like a lot. I probably do laundry every night, but I'm only doing, you know, maybe four items or less. And that's including like my socks. So it's really not that bad. 
and then so I did my pants by themselves just because they are a bigger item I have my shirt in here my sports bra and my socks and I'm gonna do the same with these I'm just gonna soak them soak them up let them sit for maybe a minute or two and then I rinse them out really simple okay so pretty much all of my like nightly tasks are done and it is 4 30 and um because we got off early today that's why i've had more time to do to do more things and i added in the gym um my clothes are all hanging if you can see them here i'll come in the bathroom and show you so um this was my workout shirt my pants my sports bra my socks are down here here these were already washed they're dry um and then so now for the rest of the night, I'm going to prep for the morning. I'm going to um, figure out what I'm going to bring for lunch tomorrow. We um, shuttle out at 5 a.m. So I have to make sure I am up well before that. I'll probably either set my alarm at 3.30, 3 or 3.30. Um, I like to just get ready slow. I don't want to feel rushed. I want to get downstairs. Um, and be waiting for the shuttle maybe 15 minutes before five and so um this kind of morning i won't wash my hair i'll probably like braid it or bun it since it has to be back anyway and so that takes care of that and then um there the kitchen won't be open for breakfast so i do have like a little I think it's a Jimmy Dean brand. It's like a cup with the eggs. And I think I got the sausage one, sausage or bacon. I don't remember. And so I'm going to bring that with me and then something for lunch. We are off at two, I think. And so again, it's a little bit of an earlier day. I'll have the afternoon um, to study. We do have a test on Sunday. So um, tomorrow we just have a drill test, which I'm not even really going to study for. It's somewhat of an open note, so I'm not worried about it. Um, but there are other tests coming up that I'm going to study for. So the rest of the night, that's my plan. I'm just going to be studying for Sunday's test. And um, the final is coming up here soon because we are on day 24. Tomorrow is day 25 and we are done day 35. And so it's really just wrapping up everything else um, that we have to finish from here. And um, so it's early enough. I can get a lot of studying done and just prepping for the morning. That's what I'm going to do the rest of the night. And I'm going to try to bring you guys along the rest of the week. So here we go. Okay, so to go with my dress that I ordered for my uniforms, um, I've been looking for some cute shoes to go with the dress. And this is one of the options. It already came to me, and so I wanted to try them on. Um, they're super cute. They're a little more flat, but the pointy is just so stylish, I feel like, to go with the dress. I'm not usually a heel person, so I am trying to get a little bit more style and something super cute to go with the dress. And um, so I ordered these, a lower heel, and then I also did order some Clarks, and they have like a two-inch heel, I believe, just so I can kind of decide, you know, which one I would like better. But I wanted to show y'all this look. I have worn them one day. I wore them with pants. They are super cute, super comfortable. Um... And because there's not a big heel, it's easy to, you know, walk in. I didn't have any slipping or sliding. Really cute shoe. I'll probably end up keeping it even if I like the other one with the heel. And I'll share that one with you guys as well. But just super fun, different shape than the shape that I have now that I brought with me here. And so I love that. It just adds to the look. And it's still professional, but a little bit more feminine of a look, definitely, to pair with a dress. So, totally digging it. 
today is day 27. It is the last day off that I'm going to get until graduation. Um, so not many more days left. I am just relaxing again today. I've really just been trying to decompress, be alone, do me. I've done like a face mask. I just went downstairs and got a coffee. I'm so excited about it. And then I did get a delivery. Um, these are the other pair of shoes that I got. So I'm going to show you guys. Um, these are Clark's. They're a little bit more of a heel. And I really got these to go with the dress that I picked to fly in. So let me show you guys. So a little bit more of a heel. I'm not a usually a heel person. I just feel like it makes the dress look that much better. Um, so I'm going to try these on. And then I also got some um, different nylons to go with the dress as well. Um, <clears throat> the last pair of nylons that I know that I spoke to you guys about, I ended up not liking, right? And I switched to a um, trouser sock. And then when I did the fitting, I decided to order the dress. And with the dress, I feel like it needs a thicker nylon, one that's not going to like um, snag or run or anything like that. So these are really awesome. They're a thicker material, if you can see there. Um, they're called like the thermal tights, um, which for a few things, this is great. Um, well, one, it's going to keep me warmer in the dress. And two, I think because of that, it's going to make it thicker so you can't see my tattoos and it won't run. So I'm super excited when I get the dress, I'll be able to show you guys the full outfit and I cannot wait. The dress is just so perfect. Um, I loved everything about the dress so much and it is the most expensive piece in their collections and since it's um company is paying i chose to get it now rather than later um that way i don't have to save for it but as soon as i get the outfits i will definitely be sharing it with you guys and i just put these on ah! they are so cute like, just how professional are those? And obviously, I'm not wearing the right pants. Oh, they're so comfortable. They are super comfortable. Look at the padding. Ugh. Oh. I'm so happy with these. Um, they may cost a little bit more, but when we are on our feet all day at the airport, on the airplane, walking to hotels, whatever we're doing, like my feet have to be happy or I'm just not going to make it. And so spending a little bit extra to make sure that they're comfortable is worth it. Um, so I'm super excited. And as again, as soon as I get the dress, I'll show you guys the full fit. Hey, hey, good afternoon. Today is day 29 of training and it is Tuesday, March. Y'all, I don't know my days. March, hold on my calendar. It is March 6th and um, it is about 5.30 p.m. I just got back from our day of training and we got our box of uniforms. Super, super 
exciting. I'm going to get to go through this stuff tonight. I can't wait to put on the dress and I cannot wait to put on the scarves. Um, it's getting real guys. I am down to one more week. Um, technically less. So if everything goes well, a few more tests to go. Fly out day would be next Tuesday. So fly home day is next Tuesday. Graduation is Monday. So we are working our tush off and I can't wait to keep sharing more. I will try to get some pictures and some video of what I'm allowed to share as far as the uniform and stuff. So we'll get to see. So I'm just going to spend the rest of the evening eating, doing laundry, getting prepped for tomorrow and trying on all the uh, uniforms and just thanks for catching up with me and following along and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already, feel free to do so. Um, I love to be able to share with you guys, help people out. And if there's anything more that you want to um, have information on or any questions, please feel free to put it in the comments and let me know what you would like to see more of.